Hi, I'm Lee from Rangemores and today I'm going to be showing you how to fit the optional multi-fuel kit into this Villager B stove. We've got the Villager B high canopy here, there was also a low canopy and a flatmate version and all of them had the optional grate kit. So we in the grate kit we have the cast iron grate obviously, we have an ash pan and we also have these two support legs which we'll talk about more in a moment. But before we can put that in, uh, we need to make some changes to the inside. Currently it's set up to burn wood only, so we have a flat base of bricks in the bottom. Uh, but we need to make some changes here first. So I'm going to take out the log guard first of all. And then I'm going to take the throat plate out. I also need to take out all the bricks. At the moment we have four bricks at the back and two on each side. Okay, so that's the stove pretty much emptied out. Uh, now we're ready to put the multi-fuel kit in. First of all, we're going to put the grate in. Um, now the grate needs to go in with the curved front at the front of the stove. We've also got these bits here which need to be pointing upwards. Now this stove has got ledges on the inside uh, which the grate will sit on. If yours don't, and um, then you have these legs which slot in just like that either side. But we're going to discard these for now because we don't need them for this stove. So the grate goes in just like that, rests on the ledges. I'm going to pop the ash pan in there underneath, and then we're going to put the bricks back in. And notice the side bricks are going in as they were before, but on the back, we're going to put them horizontally instead of vertically, and we just have the two. We're going to put the throat plate back in. It's best if you put it in, if you have a little arrow like that, and then it turns up on the inside. And just rests on the back bricks like that. Last thing then, put the log guard back in if you want it. And that just sits there on the front of the grate. Close the doors up and you're ready to go.